Hello, chat. Hello. How are you? How's everyone's Monday going? Just so you know, today is actually a holiday here. Today is a holiday. And I've already had a very full day today. And I'm still coming here because I love your faces. Ladies and gentlemen, programs and users, hello, welcome, it's Monday. For those of you in the U.S., it is President's Day. And for those of you in Canada, it is Family Day. It's a holiday. Everything's closed here. Nothing is open. Nobody's got any grand sales. Grocery stores are closed. Even Walmart is closed. It's a wonderful time. It is a wonderful time. It's like Christmas, only in February. Chad, how is everybody? How was your weekend? What video games are you playing? You know what's not closed? Your butt. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> GB's like my fucking job. You're okay, Casper? That's life. Hello, Audi. Him lol. Kid growing GP's like my fucking job. Well, that's because you technically work in the medical field. I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm sorry that you're working on President's Day, sir. I still love you, though. I miss your face, man. We need to find a video game. And play it together. What are you playing? Yeah, well, I guess it's, yeah, it's not medical anymore, right? Because you're not actually an EMT. You, you, you're, you're an office lackey now. Um, GP, what games have you been into recently? Like, when you have time? What have you been playing lately when you have time? Yes, I'm, by the way, I'm letting this grow in. I'm trying to. It's really hard. I almost shaved it off this morning because it's fucking itchy. I don't like it. When, when my facial hair gets to the point where it's itchy, I want to, like, just... I want to take a Brillo pad to my skin and just remove it permanently. And yet, I also, it, it, it's a weird, it's a weird little paradox because I'm also the kind of person, what's that like for, uh, no, one week. Um, I'm the kind of person that I want the fucking, I want like the full bushy ass freaking redneck fucking neck beard. But I also know there's a little voice in the back of my head to be like, as soon as it gets itchy, I'm taking a pair of clippers and I'm shaving my face. It was really hard not to do that this morning. I can do I can do scary Riker. Nice. Got to push through. It was so unpleasant though. And even even with the like the proper washing and the in in the like the moisturizing, it's just it's like oh, you you. I know. I understand. If you're trying, if you have facial hair, it is more important to moisturize. The, 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 the beard and the skin underneath it to prevent the itch. That doesn't mean I have to like it. Doesn't mean I have to like it. I know it is more important to... Yeah, the hair rips some... Yeah, no, it does. I know it does. The more hair you got, the drier your 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 face skin. Uh, which also... Yeah. Nobody... I mean... Yeah, it just means it, it requires more work. Casper's like, I don't... Do you oil your beard? Or do you just naturally have the oil and the musk and you just have to brush it? Huh? No. Fuck you, sir. <laughs> Let's get through the midpoint of Ghost Off. Yeah, it's trying to get it through the midpoint. Fuck you, sir. <laughs> There's a middle spot where it sucks. I'm at the beginning spot where it sucks because of the itch. Oh, no. I mean, I can, I can, uh, listen, I could scrub stainless steel with my freaking stubble. Yeah, it'll cut you. Yeah. <laughs> that was one of those that's like, right, even in here, because I didn't shave this, but yeah, it, it's like, it's rough. It's just like, it's like, holy shit. Ah, see, see, Casper's still taking care of it. He's still taking care of it. That helps because it exfoliates his dead skin underneath it so you don't have face dandruff. I get it. But uh, yeah, chat, as you can see, we're going to be jumping into uh, Valheim today. Again, it's a holiday. Um, I'm uh, like, 
We'll probably pick up Skull and Bones again later on in a couple of weeks time. Uh, I like it. I am enjoying it. Uh, again, for those of you who hung around last week while I was doing the, the uh, sponsor bit with Ubisoft, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Natural oils work okay, but don't do much at all except keep, keep it non-homeless trimmed. Well, I mean, there's th listen, there, there's nothing wrong with keeping it non-homeless trimmed, you know, keeping it all sort of, you know, cleaned. When I began to stick apple stuff <laughs> to it, it just stays, it's too long. <laughs> I mean, listen, if you, uh, there, there, okay, fine. You know what? There are people who can pull that look off though, right? I put a hundred chopsticks in it. I mean, that, yeah, that's fine. So here's how today has already gone. Um, I got up, I did my stretches. Uh, I'm using an electrolyte mixture first thing in the morning. Uh, this is day two. I didn't do it yesterday morning because I didn't have it yet. It wasn't until yesterday afternoon that I got it. But as soon as um, my roommate and I got back from doing groceries, I mixed some up. Um, let me tell you, it's nice to have my brain firing on all eight cylinders properly. Um, it's also a little terrifying what I can actually accomplish in a very short amount of time. But this morning, I, I edited and rendered a video which will be posted later that should go live later today. Um, yeah, Ugg full brain, brain power pass. No, nah, I'm good with it. But yeah, did that. Um, did, did, did my stretching in, in a bit of a workout. It's not speed though. Um, it's all electrolyte stuff. It's all the stuff that you're without caffeine. No caffeine. There is no caffeine in it. There is nothing in it that like makes you jittery. It is it is purely an electrolyte mix. Think AG1 uh, without the $150 a month subscription price tag. Yeah. As much as I love the idea of AG1 and the electrolyte mix that they provide, I also do not like the fucking price tag attached to it. About 149, it's 149. Yo, Kyaku, hello, how are you? Kiako Lee, how are you? But yeah, it's ju it, it just ends up coming down to one. Oh, is that? Oh, come on, lark, lark it. Give me my stuff, man. Oh, I hope I get a key for freaking uh, for uh, Soul Mask. Oh my god, I'm looking forward to it. Ooh. I'm fine. I'm doing well. Four dollars a day isn't that crazy though when you break it. Uh, you know, I get it, but I understand that whole, the whole idea of $4 a day, but I'm also, a, you know, I'm also the kind of person that it's a supplement that is required for optimal health should not be something that's hidden behind a massive monthly freaking subscription fee. And slowing down on adding 78 cups of sugar. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slowing down on adding seven to eight half cups of sugar down to six. Whoa, wait a minute. What, CJ? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Cups? Is that, is that supposed to be teaspoons? Please tell me that's actually a... Oh, please, CJ, please. T TB to C... I'm, I'm a little concerned, CJ. Like, I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, when I drink my coffee, I have two cream, one sugar, and by one sugar, I mean it is a level teaspoon of sugar. You cannot taste the sugar in the coffee. It is enough to take a little bit of that harsh edge off of a dark roast, but it is not enough that it sweetens my coffee. I can't even imagine, ooh, you like, ooh. Yeah, exactly, enough to cut it. Right? Slider's like, yo, just no. one gallon tea can. That is still way too much, dude. Ooh, I can't, I can't. Oh my God, that is, my my brain is, that's, that's diabetes. That's the beat of CJ. That's dangerous. That's an, yeah, why? <laughs> it's sugar water. <laughs> it's CJ, I love you, dude. That's sugar water, man. That's not, the, the tea adds color. It doesn't add flavor, it's just color. Woo, that, that's, that's, that's liquid beetus. 
damn damn good lord all right anyway get black and unsweetened tea yes get black unsweetened tea add a lemon dunzo yeah yes yes oh my god yes see the problem is though is while i like that unfortunately my body does not react well to tea even though it is a cold, unsweetened tea and you add lemon, I will still throw up. I will be physically ill for days. My body does not respond well to tea. That's why I do coffee. Oh, 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 what is this? I have a new question. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we did that. And that was it. Dun, 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 submit. Oh, um, there we go. Okay, submit. Mm, one moment, please. Oh, see, that's the thing. I don't touch anything from McDonald's. I don't do fast food stuff, right? Um, so if you're wondering what I'm doing, um, I'm actually, I, so I use a, an app called IQ and every once in a while I will get questions that are posed to me and I have X amount of time to actually respond to those questions. So, um, okay. Sparkling water and water and that was it. Okay, submit. There we go. Uh, nope. Nope. There was nope. There was. There we go. Okay. Um. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Uh. Ugh. Uh, none of the above. Fuck carbonated drinks. <laughs> I've seen the movie Super Size Me. When I make sweet tea, I use one to two cups of sugar per gallon. That is that is still an, a, a, a a surprisingly heavy amount. The tea is Lipton's. Ooh. Oh. oh. Why? Why? CJ, you're hurting my body. My bo I'm my body is physically responding to the words you're putting out right now. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah. See, okay. Let's be real though. Let's be let's 100%. Let's just rip that band-aid off. Let's be 100% real and legitimate with everyone right now. Over the course of the last 25 years. Actually, nay, let's go even 30 years. Diabetes is on the rise. Why? Because of our overuse of processed sugars, specifically high fructose corn syrup in food production. Right? Yeah, I like sugar and cut it with some tea. Don't go on an adult date and say that instant deal breaker. I mean, for a lot of people. But the problem is, though, is there are so many things that we buy when we do groceries that have sugar in it and they've renamed they found very very sneaky sneaky superfluous ways of hiding the sugar that they put into the food and it's unfortunate because the worst part is is it's also created this crazy motherfucking addiction too to sweet things and i can tell you myself like McDonald's sees inverted sugar, which lets them not report it. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's still sugar. Sugar is sugar. It don't matter. It don't matter if it's inverted, reverted, you know, non-verted, converted. It don't matter what verted it is. It's still sugar is sugar. So I went through this whole deal years ago with my youngest daughter because of the ADHD. Um, a lot of what she was getting through her regular diet was not healthy for her because the sugar just jacked the sensation and her mind wandering all over the place. So number one was when we were making dietary changes to help her, 
it was family wide. It had to be, right? Well, it, it, here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. Have you ever noticed if you go into a grocery store, you're doing your grocery shopping, not only do they put all the sweet foods and drinks at the front, right, when you walk in, all of that stuff is considerably cheaper than the food that you actually need to eat to survive, right? Yeah, that's the, exactly. Visualize that much sugar and it'll shock you. And yeah, right, it's the impulse shop. It's the impulse buy, 100%, right? But it's true, societally, especially more so in North America than any other part of the world, we have this unhealthy addiction to sugar. It's fucking crazy. But what actually broke it for me, what was the easiest part was because my my ex and I were trying to find a way to help my youngest daughter with her ADHD without medication. Without having to rely on any kind of heavy medication. We're gonna try dietary changes and some functional changes and things like that um, first setting things that were more consistent and we tried all of that first also the only thing that we used um to supplement that was a little bit of caffeine a little bit of caffeine right so and again this was working with the psychologist that did the that had handled the assessment and everything else um rather than going the the uh the pharmaceutical route and believe it or not it helped but the changes had to be made across. We couldn't just make the changes for her. It had to be fair. It was for all of us. It was for myself, my ex, my, my, and both my daughters. We all had to make the dietary changes. So that meant was cutting like over 50% of the sugar from everything. It was buying more, more stuff that had to be cooked. No ready-made meals, right? Yeah, cup of sugar is about the size of a fist. But that was the thing, right? It was, there was, there was an entire process and it took time, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, like roughly the size of a fist. It's, it is effing crazy. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, no, it's just like, holy crap. Uh, none of the above. None of the above. Why? No, listen, tap water's fine. Remind me later. Okay. There we go. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay. That worked. And. All right. So, invitation for dinner sent or verified. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Yep. So here, here's the thing. So my idea of sweets now is apples. Like an apple. No extra sugar, no caramel sauce, no candy coating. Apple. Um, I love fresh berries when they're in season. Stuff like strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. In season, love that shit. Um, I will do a trail mix with dark chocolate in it. Dark chocolate. That's the other thing. Dark chocolate. Because dark chocolate is unsweetened. So you still get that nice hit. Your brain still gets the chemicals, right? Here's the thing about seedless grapes, though. Do, have you ever noticed how un, uh, how ridiculously sweet seedless grapes can be? But if you go and pick a seeded grape, seeded grapes have way less sugar to them. They are a lot more tart and a lot less sweet. One Coke is equal to a Snickers the size of the bot. Damn, that is a oy. Holy hell. Okay, hold on, hold on. It's X. I gotta, I, I wanna see this. Jesus. Soda sugar. Holy shit. 120 ounce soda bottle. Three Cadbury eggs or a Snickers bar the length of the bottle. 
One soda per day for a week, one bottle of cake frosting. Oh, good God. One soda per day for six months. Four gallons of Skittles? One soda per day for three years. A convenience store's entire 20-foot candy counter. Sweet Jesus. Good God. One, one soda per day for six months is four gallons of Skittles. That is re... That... Dude, one year is eight gallons of Skittles. Yeah, no, the, the frosting conversion rate. <laughs> one soda per day for a week is one bottle of frosting. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hi. My stomach's turning. I can't even. I listen. I'm. I'm not. I'm a not lie. I love being alive, healthier. Anyway. Hi, Sarah Cell. How are you? Now, how many people will drink one day? Yeah. Or claim it's limited. It's limiting it. It's not though, right? Don't talk about stomach stuff. What? Why? What do you mean? Don't talk about Sarah Cell. Why? 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 Why we? Why we not talk about? Why we not talk about stomach stomach stuff, Sarah Cell? Why? Oh, you're barfy today. We were just talking about the ridiculous amount of sugar and uh, North America's bad habit and addiction to sugar and all things sweet. When you go to other parts of the world and uh, sugar is non-existent in a lot of manufactured food because of brutally harsh fucking laws. <laughs> this is purely the blood glucose at the moment. Yeah. The sugar erosion of the stomach is an entirely different issue. Yeah. It is purely the blood glucose at the moment. It's bad in Mexico too, Sat. Yeah, well, I, I kind of, here's the thing. I kind of count Mexico as part of North America. Because, I mean, technically it is part of North America. It's part of the North American continent. So, I mean, you know, Canada, U.S., and Mexico. I mean, you know. All right chat okay let's go are you ready are you ready okie dokie what do we got what do we got what do we got hey there we go yeah oh yeah are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> That's pretty much where we just went with it, too. <laughs> Don't give me that face, Sarasa. I'm sorry that you're feeling kind of burfy today, by the way. And I'm going to use that skills and frosting number for ages. 20 foot counter is too hard to visualize. Uh, listen, I'll be honest. 20 foot ca uh, counter is really not that hard to visualize. <laughs> it's not for me. I have no problem visualizing that. <laughs> right. Um, so dad constructed something yesterday. It's meant as hyperbole as I see it. The others are finite. Yeah, well, that's true. This is va valid. Valid. Okay. Valid. All right. So it is going to be a slightly shorter stream. But like I said, I've had like, I've actually had a pretty active day already. I did that video, got it uploaded, got everything all marked for it properly. The only thing I wasn't able to do were the chapters, but I can't do that until the video goes live. Um, because I'm not going to sit there and scrub through it while I'm trying to edit this, edit it because it's a pain in the ass, right? Um, but did the video, did my stretches and a little bit of a workout, went for coffee with Zaul. Um, so I got to see her a little bit this morning for an hour, came back, did dishes, um, you know, did up all the stuff and there, there is a lasagna sitting on the stove ready to go in the oven. 
um, you know, for to bake at 350 for 45 minutes, somewhere like in around 6 p.m. So when it's ready for somewhere between 6.30 and 7, right? Like, all of this stuff, I, I've been busy, man. Um, and not only that, like when I went to go have coffee, I walked, walked up to the Tim Hortons, walked back, you know, it was all... Um, so, uh, as you can see, dad, dad made a slight adjustment. So this was built yesterday. Uh, we now have a stone hearth because, you know, why not? Uh, speaking of which, I need to remember, what do I need to be able to build another one of those? I need the stone cutter and, okay. That's all I needed to remember. Uh, what do I need to actually build the stone cutter? Because I'm going to need that for crafting purposes uh, soon. Where? I know it's here. There it is. Uh, what do I need for that? Stone, iron, and wood. So I need two iron, ten wood, and four stone. Awesome. Nice. Yes. Yes, Tuttle. Hi, Tuttle. One soda per day, Jesus. Wonder how many school kids do that, and we wonder why they have ADD. Well, it's the sugar. But here's the thing. Try drying them out from the sugar. Just go ahead, see what happens. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. Dad, 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 what? <laughs> okay. I try drying the crackheads out so we leave so let's leave my crack. Hi Zool, how are you? Uh alright, so I need two bars of iron. Okay. Uh, we are going to need a metric buttload of stone, too. So I'm just gonna grab all of the stone. Okay, I, I've got the carry weight anyway, so that's not such a big deal. Alright, so, um, like I said, uh, so yesterday I did a quick little bit of work here. So, I built this stone hearth. Much nicer. Uh, but with that came a, uh, a new, new, uh, level of construction. As I had to redo the chimney. As you can see, it's all fully done in stone. Right? Also, it does allow for the smoke to properly come out. You're good? Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Work time. Oh, I'm sorry that you has to go. So that was that was construction part number one. Uh, I'm going to need... We're going to grab a full stack of wood. How much? Whoosh, getting a little spicy. All right. So. Uh, oh, oh, nope. Get bent. Get bent. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. Get wrecked. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, how are we doing on this? Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so, uh, as you can see, we've got a bonfire here. <laughs> it's a kind, it, it will, it will kind of, uh, I see kids spazzing. I say, man, I love my free time. Do the ram. What do you mean? The what, Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One moment, please. Please hold. Please hold. Okay. There we go. Okay. Integration has been officially started. Okay. So, I need to... We're going to build... You right about here. Okay, it should be good. Yes. All right now uh, Let me show you the next construction point so I Did the ram once but now they won't let me back to the the national park. Oh my god How do you do the ram? It makes no sense to me when it comes to 
What do you mean do the ram? You don't have to do anything with the ram. Just leave it alone. You, you don't, it, it, it's a pre-built. Just leave it, don't, don't, don't fuck with nothing. Leave it alone. What do you mean do the ram? There's, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Okay, so dad built a bridge yesterday. Um, it, there's only one way that it slots in. Yeah, don't OC or tweak off the shelf machines. You're upgrading from 16 to 32. If you have the RAM kit, there's only one way that the RAM kit goes in. And there are YouTube, there are YouTube videos showing how to do it. Tuttle, YouTube. It's your friend. YouTube is your friend. Okay. I don't have the stone. I don't. YouTube indeed. Yes. Right. I didn't. Because I already built it back there. Shit. Okay. Um. So yeah. Dad built a bridge yesterday. It is my grand construction. <laughs> okay. Listen. You don't have to do anything after install. You slot it in, turn the machine on, and go. There's there's nothing else to do. There's no drivers needed, nothing. It's plug and play, man. Y you put it in, you turn the computer on. If machine doesn't turn on, you did it wrong. Yeah, this is literally it. It's that simple. <laughs> it's quite literally that simple. So, yes, we, as you can see, we now have a little bit of road. Right here, right? I figured it was just, oh, and a whole bunch of stuff up here that. Well, let's, uh, let's just take advantage of all the freaking free loot. Let's just take advantage of all the free loot, chat. Oh, shit. Nope, mistakes were made. Shit. Okay, you know what? Screw you. I'm one shot all your asses now. Get wrecked. That's what I thought. Bitch. We're gonna need the stone anyway. <laughs> yep. But yeah, so as you can see, uh, did this nice little. I don't know what's going on down there. I'm not too worried about it. So the whole aspect of this was I was getting very tired of having to jump this freaking er, any time we we're heading into the north or heading down south to do any kind of mining or anything. I was getting very tired of having to like swim across this. So I was like, fuck it. I'm building a bridge. <laughs> and as you can see, it is a nice bridge. I personally feel like it's very well constructed. But now, we're going to, uh... The whole reason for building the Stonecutter's Bench uh, up by the, uh... <clears throat> up by the shipyard, or the boatyard here, is, uh... Because we're gonna build... We're gonna build a pier, okay? We're building the proper pier. That's it. I'm done. We're, we're building a proper pier. We've been like pandering around here, doing nothing, and it's like, no, that's it. It's it's time. It's time to build a proper pier. Okay. We're, we're gonna we're we're doing this, and I'm gonna drag all of you poor poor bastards around with me on this, and y'all just gonna have to enjoy. Okay. We're gonna do the thing. You don't necessarily have to like it, but you kind of have to accept it, because it's going to happen. Nice thing is, at least we can swim. <laughs> that's, that's a beautiful part of this.
All right. So the whole object here is I'm going to try to hopefully try not to drown while I'm trying to dig this down a little bit deeper. Because, you know, that that is that is a legitimate concern. Also, this will just make things more complicated for Zaul. Uh, not that I'm- oh, good lord. Not that I'm trying to intentionally make things more difficult and complicated for Zool when we're playing, um, on stream together. But, you know, it may happen. It's- it's not intentional. Sure, sure. She's like, I'm watching you do this. What am I supposed to think? <laughs> You're supposed to understand that I love you. And I'm not trying to drown you in, in, in a video game, okay? That, 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 that's... <laughs> uh... Right, so... You know, I do actually kind of enjoy being underwater, even if it's momentarily, just because of the fact that I don't seem to have to worry about the wave action. Like, uh, I mean, I kind of do, but it's not as noticeable. Oh, we are running out of stamina fast, though. Holy hell. I mean, to be fair, we are underwater. It's kind of ex... Okay, oh! The surface. <laughs> okay, and are we get yeah, we're okay back down. All right, there we go. Do 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 to do do do. So we're like again, we're 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 building, we're building grain constructions at this point. Okay, well, sort of. Uh, level ground. Okay, that should be good. All right, and down. Oh, here we go. Oh, that burns your stamina real fast. Woo! Good set of pipes, chat. I love that it's like, you are wet. No kidding. <laughs> of course we're wet. Of course we're wet. <sighs> okay, oh. All right, that seems pretty, pretty decent. Okay, uh, now for the fun part. And down. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, let's see. So I want, I do want this to be, there we go, somewhat raised up. Oh Lord. Oh God. Oh, please don't die. <laughs> I'm like, sweet Jesus. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. It's not worth it. 
Okay, now that I've... Oh, that did not work out well. I was like, good God. All right. Uh. All right, I uh, think maybe possibly we'll be able to do this. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how well this goes, chat. We'll see how this goes, okay? I'm pretty sure that this wasn't a thing during Viking times, but you know, I could be wrong. It, it is quite possible that the Norse had, uh, you know, advanced engineering techniques like this. Uh, pretty sure according to any of the literature I've read though, that uh, no, that that is not in fact true, but you know, hey. Oh, God damn it. There were more advanced builders than many, well, I know, I do know that they were actually fairly advanced as builders go, but. I mean, they, they definitely weren't the Greeks or the Romans. The downside is, unfortunately, as you can see, uh, we're having a bit of a problem here where it's... Okay, I need... I'm glad that... Well, no, I know that their lodges stay up. Tuttle, I'm glad that you're loving the PC. The wave action could stop at any point in time, though, because that does make things a little... You know what? Never mind. Never mind. I'm just going to go over here, and Dad's just going to continue on with the project instead of trying to be, like, super freaking OCD about that one freaking thing that's going to be dumb and obnoxious to me. The entire time, it just doesn't want me to do what I want it to do. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's up, up and out. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, let's get up and out of there for a moment. Okay. Um, pretty happy with that so far. Posted updated specs and tech chain. Oh, my buddy is of mine is building his parts come in. I'm just lazy. I love that. I'm, I love how you put that. I'm just lazy. <laughs> I love how you're like, yeah, I'm just lazy. I'm like, all right, yeah, eh. you know what? Like, you, you, you know, the, the, the fact is that you own it. Can't really fault fault anyone for that. I love that. You don't feel rested anymore. No kidding. I wonder why I don't feel rested anymore. Oh god damn it. Okay. Um all right, so trying to do this in the dark is not fucking working out.
nope, nope. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. Okay. It's a little bit better. Right. Uh, ah, damn it. Okay. We're going to have to. We all want to. Well, no, here's the thing. I'll, I'm going to uh, let me be real with you for a moment here, Tuttle. Do not don't if you plan on getting a new graphics card, make sure that you're getting it because you are planning to actually upgrade, not just to have spare parts. This isn't like a car. Do not have spare parts just laying around. Don't. That that's that's probably one of the worst things you could ever do. Well, there are that we we do have um, laptops that are upgradable, including GPUs, right? Well, some here's the thing though. Don't. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've got graphics cards that are fucking 12 years old and still work. They work. It doesn't mean they're good for gaming. They work. Totally different. It is completely different. So don't, don't do the whole plan on upgrading. Here's the thing about a computer. This isn't like a car. This is not like a car. You are looking at a, an electronic device that effectively, by the time you get to five or seven years, you need to replace it full out. Replace it. Not just upgrade it, replace it. Yeah, exactly. After about five or six, uh, after about six years, a PC effectively becomes a paperweight. So what you're actually better off doing is just save your money. Save your money, buy, inv if you're gonna, if you're gonna spend some money, invest in decent screens, invest in, you know, the, uh, the ability to have some high-end peripherals, like a really good high-end set, like audio system for it, um, you know, with, you know, uh, studio monitors, uh, really good high-end quality set of headphones, um, five years, it's recycling problem, right? Not install problem. Exactly. Right. A good AVR. Exactly. Is this? Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, excuse me. Uh, hey, thank you. Jesus. You're running around like a crazy person. Just stop. Sweet Jesus, you're just shooting everything, aren't you? Dick. You shot at my person, you jackass. Yeah, um, don't, yeah, don't fall for ga uh, the, the gaming surround sound headphones. Surround sound headphones are not actually a thing. You can fake positional audio with headphones, but it's not. There, well, there are 5.0. Mad pricey. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, mad pricey, as in like thousands of dollars. You're not getting surround sound headphones for a few hundred bucks. Right, like invest in good extra peripherals, right? Okay, so you got food there. I had two bodies here now. Tame and hungry. Uh, well, I mean, listen, go eat. There's food there, bro. They're both wearing the same thing. In iRacing, I can judge distance and position just with the rear speakers. That's good, though. You want that. That That is actually amazing. Oh, okay. Well, 
Uh, that means I can do that. What? Oh, for f no, I want that so I can do that. Oh, what do I need? Oh, did I? I did. Oh, God damn it. Okay, what do I need out here? I had the workbench out here. Fuck. I. All right, fine. Never mind. Never mind. That's fine. Never mind. It's fine. Okay. Put the the other food in the up here for these two to fight over. I don't have to see. I know they're well, and that's the thing. You know they are there because you can hear it, right? Okay. Here we go. Let's go back to uh, what we're doing here. Let's get back to do what, what we're trying to build out here. Correct, sir. Get off me. <laughs> but yeah, like invest in a good wheel. Uh, if you want to do racing and driving, invest in a good controller setup, right? Um, like there, are, there are a lot of things you can really invest, invest heavily into that will be a benefit to you, right? But yeah, investing in like a good high-end screen, definitely, definitely a good way to go. Or high-end screens, uh, depending. I mean, like. All right, so we're gonna, there we go. Yep, uh, 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 okay. Oh, balls. Can I not? There we go. I can now. There we go. All right. Now we're good. Um. Right. Let's do that. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to quite. Don't whack it that hard, man. Okay. Ugh. Woo! Getting a little, uh, it's getting a little heady down there. Uh, excuse me? There we go. Oh! I see what happened there. Shit. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Dad messed up. Well, you know, and here's the thing, though, is at some point. The, the, even the case at some point does have to be updated or upgraded, right? So I'm going to leave that as it is. Maybe. All right, hold on. We're we're gonna. Dad's got to make a change. Shit. Of course I do. Had everything kind of done the way I was hoping to, and then realized that it wasn't quite. Um.
Oh, you want some fuck? Thank you. I'll take your gold. <laughs> Man's wanted to come in and play fuck around and find out with me. As much as I'd love to, I'm not buying a new desktop anytime soon. Well, and that's the thing. I, again, like even a PC case because uh, component standards change over time, Tuttle. Right? So it's like eventually you still have to replace even the the uh, the case has to get replaced, right? So Okay, that should be a little bit better. Hi, Sleepy. How are you? Yes, much better. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Oh, boy. Um, now, if I... Um, you know what? Maybe we will go that high. Let's... Let's do a test fit here, chat. Let's do... Yup. That's how we're doing it. This is how we do it. What? I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's there, sir. So we're building this mahoose of freaking construction. Because, you know, why not? Oh, is that even... Oh, that placement is fucking terrible. Actually, hold on, hold on. Can we... Yep, that worked. <laughs> that worked like a treat. I wonder how many people sing along when you are, when you break into song. Think of a desktop like a pricey subscription. Kind of, yeah. I always finish. <laughs> I mean, sometimes even in my own head, I do the, I finish it off. I'm like, yeah, here we go. Here we go. You know. Okay. That should be okay. And that means I should be able to now. That's. Oh God. Don't get stuck in there. Please. No, please. Do not get stuck in there. Get out of here. Jesus. Man's out here trying to freaking play in a sandbox. And the game's like, you know what? Like, listen, I think you're having too much fun. H how can how can I ruin your time? How can I ruin your existence in this moment, sir? Oh, ooh, that was a little aggressive, but you know what? I'll take it. It's fine. Sleepy, how was your weekend? How's your uh, President's Day going? I know for a lot of you, it's it, 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 for for those of us in North America, it's it's a holiday. For those of us in Canada, it is currently Family Day. For you guys in the U.S., it is President's Day. Ooh, I mean that's a nice cut. Okay, I'll take that.
Ooh, damn. Okay, uh, I think we're... I think we might be alright. Looking pretty good so far. Uneventful. <laughs> Uneventful? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can hang out here and we can keep you entertained. How's that, Sleepy? Does that sound like a good plan? Got my refunds from state and fed taxes. It went straight into savings. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Can't really fault anybody for that, you know? Um, let's do that and then should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, nice. Yeah, all right. You know Not so bad. Okay, we're doing okay here. Okay. Okay. Watching Daytona 500? Ah. Uh, like, no, no offense. I, I know there are a lot of, a lot of people who love, like, oval. I'm just more of a GT3 circuit kind of, like, road race kind of guy. And I, I do know that, yes, they, they do road racing with, um, with regards to stock car, but it's not the same. It really just doesn't have the same vibe as like watching GT class racing, like the grand touring stuff, just that stuff, that stuff gets me juiced. I freaking freaking love it. Okay, I th think Yeah, I think we're pretty good here. Okay. Paved road seems to be working pretty well. We're down to our last 13 stone. Holy shit. It's not about the oval. It's more, yeah, it's more P. It, I mean, it is technically racing PVP. For everything that happened last year, I'm paranoid about having money saved up. No, no, no. I, you know what? I, sleepy. I, I can't fault you for that. Kiaku, welcome back. So we're down to our last 13 bit of stone, but we've got the, we we now have that slip set. Oh, okay. You know what? We're going back in. We're going back in. We got to clean this up. I can't, cannot have this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen. So. Okay, that better not be okay. No, we're, we we seem to be doing all right here. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Pull. Huzzah. Okay, that's all right. That's pretty good. I'm I'm happy with the the overall effect so far. Uh. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Break that little crappy. Oh, whoa. Hey.
What happened with the supply chain over the last five days? Cash is good. What do you mean? With what happened? Oh. Supply chain? What do you- wait, what? Supply chain? Where? What? Excuse me? I was about to say, days? Jesus Christ! Where are you living? The supply chain changed that rapidly. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, you, uh, you wanna cut somebody? You wanna cut some people in? Like, let's go. <laughs> like. Sheesh. Okay, that's cleaning that up just a smidge. Oh, 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 we're about to die. Okay, and... Someone sniffles in the U.S. and the price of TP doubles overnight. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, listen, I'll be honest, we, we have a very similar similar issue here currently in uh, good old Kanukistan too. Alright. Yeah, let's get that uh, <coughs> wet. Alright, we're gonna back this out and then we're gonna put it Put the boat actually where the ship where it's supposed to be, chat. Learn, yeah, learn your lessons. Yeah, this is nothing. This is just a test run. Learn your lessons. Yeah, to do without TP. <laughs> toilet paper? Who needs a goddamn toilet paper? I'll just use crabgrass. <laughs> I'll just wipe my ass with crabgrass. As long as it's not post poison oak, we're okay. I did order me a <laughs> did order me a neat gadget to tinker with this weekend though. What did you order? Maybe you don't mind sharing with with, with us. This freaking game just so pretty, man. This game can be so unbelievably beautiful. So, I'm hoping, hoping, <laughs> that this will make life a little bit, actually make life a little bit easier for people to get in, in and on, like on and off the, the ship. I'm hoping. We'll see how that goes. We'll, we'll legitimately see how this goes, but it should actually fit right in here nice and easy. Should slide right in the hole. Oh, like a glove. Look at it, chat. Look at how pretty that is. Like a freaking glove. Oh, it's so good. All right. Ourselves all uh, nice, nice and comfy. Oh, no. Hey, hey. Sir. Seriously? Everybody wants a piece? I mean, let's go. Ooh, it's so dark. It's a good thing I have glowy pants. Oh no, glowy chest piece, sorry. I have a very glowy chest piece. All right, let's get in here. Um, let's fix some stuff up really quick. I don't think I should have much to fix up. So the only thing that I do have to do is I, I need to move the smithing tools out of here. 
Uh, we're gonna throw that in there. Uh, that's amber. Uh, that can go in there. Okay. Ooh, that music is a little on the loud side. I really like it though. The the music seems to fit. Oh, uh, food barrel. Okay, there we go. Plenty of food. Not running out of the food stuffs anytime soon. We'll throw that in there. That and that. How are we doing? Not too bad. Um, actually, no. I'll keep that. Throw that little bit of stone in there. Forgot about throwing that in there. And... Done. Okay. All right. So you guys have already seen the bridge. Um, what do we got? Throw that in. All right. Let's get our, uh, <clears throat> our rested bonus here. So sleepy developer, what, what gadget did you order yourself to play with? Just out of curiosity. See, here's the thing. I know it's a ga when he when he when he refers to it as a gadget in uh, to tinker with. In my head, I'm always doing the whole. Uh, that means it's tech. Uh, I'm totally down. Let's go. And uh, we need to uh, get some of this giant ass chunks of rock out of the way. Really? Bro. I'm like, damn. Uh, I, I am going to definitely say having the indestructible perk on the pickaxe is nice. Something you can't get in Canada anymore. A flipper. What the hell is a flipper zero? Please explain. Really? Wow, my bodyguards are about as use useless as screen doors on a submarine over there, but, you know, I digress. The hell is a flipper zero? My brain is like, uh, please explain. This is not a device that I am, uh, familiar with. Though I feel as though I probably am once you explain it. Here's some more of this out. Okay, that works. What are we at? 78. All right, let's uh, let's keep going here and clear some of this crap out of the way, shall we? Did not mean to do that. Oh, well, too late. Mistakes were made. It's like a digital multi-tool mostly used for hobbyists, but got some negative press for idiots misusing it in Canada for stealing. You mean, uh, it's, it's a device that allows you to, uh, basically take over for remotes for, like, garage door openers and other such items. The kind of thing that's usually all also outlawed in Europe for the same reason. Because it becomes a thief's tool. And while I am generally as a rule not against technology, um, when, when technology is misused, that's when I do kind of have a problem with it, you know? Yeah, the downside is, though, is that you're more apt to find people using it for illegal purposes, though, right? And as soon as a device gets used for that versus its intended purpose, that's when you start seeing um, places like regulating or, uh, well, yeah, regulating it, the sale of said device. And I, I get it. I understand why. 
makes perfect sense to me. One of the things I'm interested in using it for is it can scan the chips in both my cats. Interesting. Oh, hi. Ow. Why well, got something for you, Wes? Get out of here. My property. Get off my get off my lawn. Bastard. Jesus. Yeah, but remember, even though it has tons of good uses, as soon as it is used as a mainstream thief's tool, that's what removes it. It doesn't matter the good that it can, that people can do with it or its usefulness. As soon as it becomes relegated as something that is classified as a thief's tool, that's when regulations step in, right? Well, no, I'm not going to disagree with you on that either. I mean, but... I mean, no, it's true. It is passing the buck. But if everything was on a closed network, you would also then have um, the existence of these tools really wouldn't exist because there'd be no use of them because you wouldn't have stuff that's on an open public band like transmission band, right? Yeah, the, I mean, listen, all it takes, and we already know this. We know this from multiple different instances across a wide variety of industries that as soon as all it takes is a few bad apples to spoil the bunch, right? I'm not, listen, I, I'll be honest. I'm not, it's not that I'm against technology that allows people to do DIY. I'm definitely not, right? I, I, I am all for DIY and the DIY movement, but. Well, and that's the thing. It is a tool that is actually very handy and very helpful for people who work in, uh, work within uh, uh, security, honestly. Especially system securities, right? So. Maybe that's why I have all the BS IoT devices on their own Wi-Fi locked away. I mean, but that makes sense. Honestly, that makes perfect sense, though. I took apart my Amazon listening device already. That thing was a security hole waiting to happen. <laughs> you mean Alexa? I love he's like my my Amazon uh, my Amazon listening device. <laughs> yeah, twags. Yeah, yeah. Talking about the Flipper Zero. And again, I I, I can respect and understand the uh, the usefulness of it as as an actual tool, right? But again, the downside always comes down to as soon as you have people using it uh, for uh, for crime, then that's when regulations kick in and, and, you know, governmental bodies tend to get a little testy about it. And again, rightfully so. But as, you know, Slider, as you've stated, it is passing the buck, right? If there were devices that are meant to be secure, not on open freaking frequency chains, that are publicly accessible, then, yeah. You know, like, it, it, it's, it's just this weird roundabout fucking BS, right? The fucking thing kept chiming in while I was talking to people in meetings and I got pissed and disassembled it. Yeah, like that's, that is a, honestly a feature like that. It's the same with the Google Nest stuff too, right? Like you should 100% be able to just disable that. Turn it the fuck off. My personal favorite thing, just fucking unplug it. I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've just unplugged devices like that because it's like, you know what? I'm just, I'm done with your shit. I did not mean to hit the ground a second. Oh, well, you know, too late. You want some fuck? Let's go. Hands. Get off my lawn. 
this. How much? I, I okay. I think we're good for stone for the for for the next little bit. I think we're good. Okay. All right. That that will that should be enough for me to allow me to finish my grand construction here. All right. At this point, Zool should have no problem getting in and out of the boat. Should be no problem getting in and out. Zool, if you're still here. Should be no problem getting in and out. None. Between this and the program that can capture mobile fan... That. Ooh. Yeah. The software that can, <laughs> needs a ramp on once... What are you saying about my girlfriend? Sleepy. Huh? Remember, Sleepy, she's got a sword. She can bop you if she wants to. Camera doesn't even need to be on and it can get your feed. Physical shutters? Yeah, right? Exactly. Physical shutters, people. That is some terrifying shit. I'm saying there's a gap between the boat and the ship. I fucking love you, Sleepy. <laughs> okay. Twags, welcome in. How are you? Hope you're having a good Monday so far. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, um... You're the one jumping to conclusions here. Am I? Am I, Sleepy? Am I the one actually jumping to conclusions, sir? I don't know, man. And I get it. It's okay. You feel called out. I understand. Oh, shit. That is way too low. Oops. Oops. Okay, all right. Jesus Christ. We dad got a little, little uh, excited with some stone there earlier. Jesus, bud. Like Hakuna, your daughter's buddy. All right. Looking pretty decent so far. How are we doing over here? Um, mm. Hi, Golden. How are you? By the way, uh, good grab on that laptop, man. And now you've officially been into Micro Center. <laughs> you've been into a Micro Center, sir. You did eat. All right, there we go. And then we'll go. I uh, might actually, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to. Okay, I didn't want to have to do this. God damn it. All right. Oh, here we go. Oy. All right. Um, let's hope that this allows me to flatten that out a little bit better. Yeah, not really. Fuck. Eh, that's not too bad. 
I've never read much about the ban. Is it illegal to own or just to sell by? Um, so in Canada, it is a device that is actually, it is illegal to sell, it is illegal to buy, and it is a banned device. Um, you can thank the criminals for that one. Unfortunately. Like, and I, like again, it, it, it ends up becoming one of those because basically like lockpicks. Why do you have these? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, why do you have lockpicks? Now, if you are a licensed and registered locksmith, it would make sense that you've got picks. 100%, totally get it, right? <laughs> if you're not, I understand why you're getting questioned about it. As with any tools like this, check your local laws. Yes, definitely. Always, 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 always. Because uh, saying that you didn't know it was illegal, ignorance is actually not a defense. <laughs> ignorance is, ig being ignorant of the law is not a defense. Does not count. Will not save you ass. Will not keep you out of jail. And generally, ignorance will actually uh, get you smacked harder. Yeah, exactly, right? I didn't know murdering that guy was illegal. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people probably try that kind of shit, though, all the time. What, you mean I can't slap somebody to death? <laughs> oh, shit. Who knew? Okay, that works. And now we're just gonna back this straight out because I need to get in and do a little bit of extra work on the inside and clean that up a bit. Ha! All right, let's dive in. Like that you don't feel rested anymore. No kidding. Wonder why. Wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that I'm like under water right now. Trying to breathe through my ass. Ah, oh, god damn it. Mm. Mm. Two hours till your flight. You had a good weekend though, Golden. That's kind of the important part, right? That is the most important part, after all. Really? Other than all the shit that happened in Charlotte to the flight to... What do you mean? What happened? I was about to say what? There were some delays or something, I'm guessing? That can't be helped, though. There was a- yeah, I heard about the- that- that was... like, what the fuck? Yeah, there was like children injured during that bullshit, too. Like, what the actual hell?
Yeah, but remember, here's the thing you guys have to understand. Sometimes that's the kind of thing that they can't help. Seriously? Okay, so that's fine. I think that's something that a lot of people seem to forget about air travel is that sometimes there are things that an airline can't help. Right. Like sometimes, you know, like especially with regards to stuff like weather delays, like there isn't a single airline that, that can help like weather delays. But you'd be surprised how many people get, like, real fucking testy about, like, a weather delay. Like, they get downright belligerent with, uh, like, the freaking, with the, uh, airline staff and everything. It's like, it, it, it's not like, you know, that the airline can control the weather. As, as much as people like to believe, yeah, right? Live weather in places get to, right? <gasps> right, exactly. But I mean, sometimes there are issues that they can't even tell are going to be an issue until like the plane is, you know, you guys, you're boarded and all of a sudden there's like something didn't pass a check in the final systems check and they, they have no choice. They have to switch the aircraft, right? Because again, it comes down to uh, safety for the uh, passengers. But it is really crazy to me how people get real freaking snarky about that. And I, you know what? Like, I understand it's an inconvenience, but... Like, th that's the other thing. Like, I do understand. Like, it, it, it comes down to most people are already... It's, it's weird because... So many of us want to travel. But then... We're anxious when we travel, if that makes sense, right? Like we get, we get like super anxious when we're traveling. We want to travel. We want to go see all these cool things in these cool places. But when we're traveling, we then get anxious and you know, that anxiety kicks in and it's like, it, it, it's, it's the craziest freaking phenomenon. It is just such a weird little human thing for us, like... And then the worst part is, is then that anxiety manifests as like anger towards the people who are trying to actually get us to our destination, to, you know, to where we want to go. And we, we take it out on these poor people. And, and they're not even like they're they're not like responsible for the the issues that we're dealing with. It is like just such a crazy little weird thing. But I am glad to hear that you had a good trip overall, right? Like, regardless of the fact that you you had to deal with a you know a bit of a delay and. Oh, God damn it. That is not what I wanted. Shit. Oh, definitely did not. Nope. I need to right about whack it right about there. Is that where I wanted to whack it? I think so. Kind of feels like it was the place to whack it. Let's not quite shit. Okay, no, damn it.
All right, let's try right about there and... No, not that one, you ding-dong. Oh, I just wasted stone I didn't need to waste. Oy vey. My OCD has been triggered. Uh, oh, excuse me, sir. No, you're not speeding, spitting that green shit at me. No, sir. Spitting that green shit at me. How dare you? I knew it was coming. I knew what you were trying to do. You're going to spit that green shit at me. Oh. Uh, I mean, we got more than enough stone to do this. That is going to be my... My... Un, because I have a two-hour layover in Charlotte. My Indy flight lands about 8.30 and my Charlotte leaves at 10.30. That's not too bad, though. Okay, uh, that seems pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So the only, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I only have two items on my person that take damage. My shield and my hammer. Everything else is uh, got the indestructible perk on it. And that is legitimately through just luck of the draw. Now, some of you might be sitting here like, what the hell is this guy doing? Don't worry. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get up to some other shenanigans yet, too. Well, and that's exactly it, right? You've got a laptop now, which is really nice. You fall asleep planning your day and next day's labor, and in your dreams you completed hewing wood, forging for food, and hunting after swift deer. You know, they could give us a little bit more time to read those because I feel like you got to speed read. And if you're trying to read that out loud, it just is not happening. Oh, I need to eat some noms. There we go. Okay, noms have been consumed. Hey, y'all. How y'all boys doing over here? Okay, we'll throw a little bit of wood in there. Hey, hey, hey. You're, you're happy? Yeah, okay. I mean, listen. Yeah, two of you now. We're doing well. Um, right. So we're going to go take care of this renegade over here because I don't need him coming, coming towards me and fucking with my shit. Get wrecked. You're not a light. Get off my lawn. <laughs> I'll gladly reap the reap the benefits of the work he's put in, but uh, short of that, I'm like, uh -uh. wrecked. Thank you. That is all mine now. Appreciate it. Oh, and my, some of my other gear actually isn't, isn't perfect either. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, I might, yeah, see, I, yeah. OCD. Brain does the whole... Nope. Can't, nope. You can't have this shit sitting here. It goes against everything I believe in. Oh. 
OCD is super triggered. All right, there we go. Okay, now we're now we're cooking with oil. Oop, shit. Eesh. Seriously? Okay, that looks pretty good. There we go. Next. Ooh, this is a bad place to be. That's how people die. <laughs> Swimming between boats like that, that's how people die. That's irresponsible as hell. Oh, sweet Jesus. Ah! Great, level 18 swimming. Awesome. Love it. Um, mother trucker. All right. Listen, <laughs> this game is having a go at me at this point. I'm, I'm almost certain of it. The game is legit just having a go at me. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's say you got this, uh, compulsive disorder and you're just trying to clean, uh, this out and, uh, we're going to tell you, uh, no. The answer is no. Get wrecked, sir. Get, get fucked. Oh, come on. Nope. Thank you. Right. So, uh, you know how we're going to fix this? We're going to do exactly what I should have done initially. Because that is just frustrating as hell. Mm. <laughs> My brain's just like, how the? F oh come on! Seriously? All right. Nope. We're we're. That's it. That's it. That's it. Fuck this shit. Oh hell no. Mm mm. Uh uh. No uh. -uh. Should've just done this initially at the very start and been done with it right from the go. It just made life so much easier. Okay, we're gonna do that. And that is actually perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned because then I can do... Are you kidding? Nope, not kidding. Awesome. Okay. Um, that's what I was looking for, actually. Oh, and it's going to be... All right, I get it. And it's going to be like that. All right, fine.
Okay. So, now... Hopefully... Sometimes this game in terraforming can just be the terraforming can get a little mm, temperamental. Easiest way to put it, the terraforming gets temperamental. All right, folks, let's see if we can. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, come on. Ooh, all right. I see what the problem is now. I love how it did that as soon. Oh, okay. I get it now. Now, so something this this is something I actually learned a long time ago and I should have been paying attention to this when you're on top of a, a, a piece like this and you say do that right you see how it's terraforming down see how it's doing that so that's actually showing the where everything is Instead of where you want it to be. And I always run into this where I completely always forget that this is how the terrain works in Valheim. And this was a building tip that I like learned ages ago that I always it's one of the simplest ones and I always effing forget it every single time. Every time, Chad. All the freaking time. Alright, there we go. Seems better. That stone, well, the stone cutter's bench is going to get tossed out at some point shortly. I only need that here in order to do, do this, like get this work done. All right, that is considerably better. Much better, there we go. All right, I'm a lot happier with how that turned out. Beautiful, okay, there. Much better. And as you can see, now there isn't as much down there. So it's not, yeah, that's much cleaner. Okay, uh, let's do this. Quite nicely, actually. 
Okay, now that we've got that done and out of the way, let's grab the uh, Yule Cultivator. Which is another one of these items that, uh, <laughs> has, uh, has a wee bit of a sticky reputation. Oof. Ah, that's fine. We get stuck in here between the boat. Oof. And the raft. Okay, there we go. And yeah, we'll throw just there we go. That's pretty decent. I'm um, yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Not bad. Ah, yes, my cultivator is also another. This, this is a. I have not gotten a cultivator drop yet uh, through Epic Loot. So, all right, drop that down there. Bada boom, bada bing. Oh my God! All right. Oh. Oof. Oh. What's my? Uh, what is my eldest daughter? Three fifty for forty five minutes. I mean, we're not running out of wood. We still got plenty of stone. Jesus. Okay. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I almost feel, uh, you know what, I'm not going to worry about this side of things. I think we're good with just what we've got built here. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, actually. Believe it or not, I'm very happy with how this turned out. All right, um... Okay, we're actually gonna do that. I'm gonna recollect all my stuff. Thank you. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Greeting, no, listen. Don't greeting stranger me. Don't, don't. Don't greeting stranger me. I don't care what you're, I don't want what you're selling. Do not want what you're selling. Um, so let's check her bees. Plenty of honey. They're very happy. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, yes. Got blueberries are ready in an hour. Okay. My freaking Super Saiyan jump is coming along nicely. <laughs> Uh, we'll throw that in there and that in there and everything else Come with me. So oh shh. Thank you. All right. There we go. Um right. Goes in there uh, That goes in there that goes in there Okay uh, Shiza that goes in there 
The buke berries, blah. Um, my iron is currently up there. I do need to start upgrading these to the reinforced chest. Unfortunately, I have not done that as of yet. Oh, so much stuff in those chests. Oof. All right. Uh, what are we at? 1627. All righty. Okay, here we go. You dream of a great tree reaching out through the night. One half of its branches crackle with flames. The other are green with leaves. Interesting. Sounds very breezy outside. All right, here we go. Um, let's grab that out for a minute. Let's yeah, make sure that that's repaired. Okay, what about you? Nope, you're good. Large raft does not need repairs. Good, awesome. All right, let's see if we can go. We need to find the Leviathan. Uh, Dad needs chitin so I can build an abyssal harpoon. Um, I also just realized uh, with the wave action, we're grounding out coming in and out of the slip. So before we uh, do any of that, oh, whoop. Okay, well, we didn't quite make it, but all right. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Gotta dig this out just a smidge more. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> nope, that, that is gonna be a problem otherwise. Big old problem. Can't be having none of them there problems trying to get in and out of the, the uh, oh, 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 we're drowning. <laughs> we're drowning, chat. We're drowning. All right, all right, all right. Let's slow down. Sweet Jesus. be okay-ish, I think. Why? Oh. What? Oh, hold on. That's better. Okay, that I think.
All right, that seems pretty solid now. There we go. All right, uh, let's do that. Oh boy. Ah, sweet Jesus. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> we gotta dry out. Dad needs to dry out before we go any further, okay? That's all there is to it. Dad's gotta dry out. Oh, right. So, we're looking for a Leviathan. Uh, we're gonna head down to the last place that I remember having a Leviathan spotted. Uh, I actually think, uh, Frightful Mage is gonna get it, put it in the, uh, put it in the oven. It's only got to be in for 45 minutes. Well, 30 minutes covered, 15 minutes uncovered. So we're going Leviathan hunting. That's so one nice. So that is the beautiful thing about doing a homemade lasagna. That is kind of the really nice thing about the homemade lasagna. Um, also, I'm just going to let you guys know now. Uh, Chaos Tricks is up. But here's something I'm going to let... I'm, I'm going to let you all in on a little secret about um, Chaos Tricks. Well, it's not that... Not only is it that it's not frozen, but because everything is already cooked... It's just the act of baking it so it all melds together with the cheese and, and the, the meat and everything like. And that's really all it is. Like the, the noodles are already fully cooked. The meat and the, the sauce is already fully cooked. So it's just the act of baking it so it like crisps it and goldens it up really nicely, right? Um, I added something through uh, Chaos Tricks. For all of you to have a little bit more fun with. Uh, now that we're doing a little bit more work oceanically speaking. So as you can see, there's the bridge. Oh, as it just disappeared. The bridge off there. Uh, but right. Okay. Uh, there we go. Alright, and we're on the way. All the materials. Again, Dad is looking for a Leviathan. So if you happen to come, if you happen to notice, yell out in chat. If you happen to see something that looks like a floating island. At the middle of nowhere, let dad know because I might. Uh, sometimes I miss shit like that. Uh, by the way, um, we're gonna save that before I get too far into this. Uh, and I need to go to graphics. Okay, how? I have depth of field off. We're gonna turn that. Okay. And then if I go back in here and we go back into settings and I do this. Turn it off. It should. Should. Nope. Mother trucker. All right, fine. Fine, be that way. See if I care. All right, so remember, chat, we are out here looking for a Leviathan because dad needs chitin to be able to build an abyssal harpoon. Uh, because right now, at this point, my ship is defenseless against, like, if I'm doing anything out on the water, currently we are defenseless on the water against, uh, against sea serpents, so. Hey, look at all the magic mystery freaking 
Hey, look at all the logs. It's log, it's log. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. It's log, it's log. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, Ren and Simpy, you are so missed. Look at this. Oof. It's better than bad, it's good. <laughs> Alright, so those are islands up ahead. I'm already familiar with this. Some of these rocks just all of a sudden just like, surprise! Heard you like stones. Have fun with the rock. Dun dun. I wonder if we're, okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try to run over a deer and see what happens. A plow over Oh, there was a rock there. Boo! Boo! I'm calling shenanigans. Ruined by a rock, chat. Dad's hopes and dreams of ro rolling like completely crushing, keel hauling. A deer. With our long ship. With our longboat. <laughs> ruined! Absolutely ruined. Oh, hey, uh, chat, if you're still here and you're still listening, and you guys are awful quiet, it's very disturbing. I don't like quiet chat. Um, quiet chat is, is, is not a fun chat for streamer, okay? Um, it's also not fun for other, other content creators. Here, here, here's, or, or other, other people watching the stream too, for that matter. Uh, here, here's something to note. Uh, my roommate made a purchase over the weekend. Uh, Frightful Mage is now the proud owner of the Moza R5 bundle. After five months of not being able to find one, finally found it and bought it. And it has been mounted to his stand. And I'm waiting for to hear about how his how his forearms hurt from trying to do uh, sim trucking because the freaking direct drive wheel will beat him to death, beat him senseless with his own arms. Oh 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 oh! Don't you get any fucking brilliant ideas out here? We'll do it. Ooh, shit! Oh god! Oh, okay. Uh, Dad's gonna stick real close. How to stick close to shore. Oh, not so close. Oh, did that? Yeah, that troll just totally freaking sniffed his finger. Bro. These trolls are disgust. They're, they're nasty. they nasty. Disgust the pig. Uh, you surge. Oh, I had to. Nope. Oh, you can just stay over there. I see you. No, Jeff. Bad Jeff. Bad Jeff Aru. Bad Jeff. The, yeah, no, the trolls are 100% nasty. They're disgusting. They are disgusting. I mean, you can try to swim out to me, but I don't know what you're trying to approve there, bud. Other than you're a little on the lesson, sir. <laughs> All I would like to do is find a little bit of chitin. Now, I know the first time we came across a Leviathan, it was down in this stretch. No one is talking because you're entranced with your... Listen. Don't try to butter me up. <laughs> Don't you try to butter me up. <laughs> She's trying to be all nice and sweet to me. Try to butter me up. 
She already knows she getting she getting homemade lasagna for dinner tonight. That's right, Chet. I have to butter you up. I want lasagna. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't have to butter me up. The invitation was already sent. You already accepted. You just have to show up with your appetite, ready to have a piece of lasagna. To which I say, you will find it extremely and extraordinarily delicious. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with the depth of field and why me making whatever adjustments I do doesn't seem to change it at all. There's, I don't currently use any mods that affect uh, depth of field. If anything, I generally have it turned off in this just because I don't like the, I, I'm not a fan of how it looks really hazy at, at distance. It's, it's not a good time. It's not a good look. Uh, that is a person floating out there and I don't know why they're floating out there. And so we're just gonna leave them out there because you know, reasons. Uh, come on, man. Right, so I know that is not a Leviathan because... Uh, yeah, that's... Oh, come on, man. Dad needs a we need a leviathan. Actually, you know what? Let's There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Now we're zooming. We got the zoomies chat. Dad's got the zoomies now. Now we're zooming, baby. Ooh! The zoomies are real. This one scoots. Just scooches along nice and fast. You don't feel... Well, of course I don't feel rest. Anyway. Uh, so the object here right now, folks, is we're trying to, I don't know what the... I hope you get eaten by a sea serpent, you dongus. Or a leviathan, either or, I win. There was no way they were catching this boat. Was not happening. We are freaking moving right now. We're moving. Okay, so we're just going to cut a little bit wider than I normally would around here. Uh, just to maintain connection with the ocean. Again, it's purely to keep an eye open for um, what might be the possibility of a leviathan somewhere close by. At least that's the hope. Uh, we already know, well, there's swamp right there. That's the swamp we've already explored and found sweet diddly squat in.
Okay, so just gonna continue out a little extra wide here. And thankfully the weather has been very, very good for today, so that's good. Alright, we're gonna have to... Keeping an eye on the... I am keeping an eye on the time chip. How is that fire still going? That thing... Oh, 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 oh! Look what we found! Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Hi, gorgeous. Hello. Oh. You're not going to be very happy with me, but I got to do this. I'm sorry. You need the kite. Hello. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's it's angry. That's angry, chat. Oh, we've made it angry. Oh, oh, there she blows. <laughs> oh, shit. Nope, we at, we at this bitch. Because now that that's going, that could also lead into all kinds of stupid shit with sea serpents that I don't want to mess around with in the dark. that should now potentially give me enough chitin all right uh, let's get a little closer to shore so I don't have to worry about uh, any uh, any Jeff's coming in <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Azul, like, hi. Because she knows. She knows. Chad, if you're just joining us, welcome. Hi. It's Monday. It's President's Day for those of you in the U.S. Here in Canada, it is known as Family Day. Hope you're having a good Monday, though. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for checking things out. We're just doing this today because, you know, I was like, right, we're, uh, we're just going to jump in and do a little bit of the Valheims, the Valhimmels. Why not? Uh, I wanted to show off the bridge that I built yesterday um, really quick. And believe it or not, it only took about an hour to build it. Um, it was just more figuring out uh, how to throw everything together. Oh, hey, look, there's a troll, and now the fire's out. I'm very confused, but okay. That's fine. We're not stopping. We're not sticking around, chat. No, we're not. We're booking it for home. Dad got the chitin he needed. We found... We found Bertha. We stripped Bertha of the chitin. Well, as much chitin as I could get in one shot without, like, getting drowned. We got an extra 14, uh, add that to the 25 that we got. I should be able to make the, uh, the Abyssal Harpoon now. Which then means we are no longer defenseless on the water with regards to, uh, fucking serpents.
Okay, let's try not to get too close though to shore because if I get too close, we're gonna end up eating rock. Right, okay. Uh, we're coming up to uh, sketchy landmass in three, two, one. Hello, swamp off to the uh, right hand side. Uh, you know, the most enjoyable shenanigans ever. Uh, thanks to, uh, you know, draggers and leeches and blobs and, you know, all the denizens of the swamp. Also, uh, my personal favorite, abominations. They're great fun. Absolutely fantastic. Love them. Love them. They're great. Okay, we're actually tracking pretty well here right now. I'm gonna just sort of stick my my uh, bony behind out here just a little extra bit. Right. All right. So we're. Oh, what the frack was that BS? Oop. Getting a little close to shore again. Things are getting a little dicey. So the object here is try to try to get back up uh, home port in the shortest amount of time possible. Uh, as you can see, we seem to be making pretty solid progress here, though. But you are cold. No kidding. It's breezy on the ocean. Um, this is also the time when I am more than likely to run into uh, and experience a nice serpent visit. Speaking of which, um, for those of you who have chaos tricks and have been using it, uh, we actually have uh, recently added the sea serpent as a spawnable using chaos tricks, so just remind everyone of that. Oh, look, uh, we're sailing through an area that uh, it, it's obvious is the location of one of Sleepy Developer's war crimes. We'll pass a few of these locations. NASCAR equals hold my beer left turns. Uh, NASCAR equals vehicular PVP. Prove me wrong. I'll wait. Man, we are moving right now. Ooh, baby, I love the way every day now, baby. You're not, that's the funny, but uh, yeah, that's, that's the thing. I know I'm not. That's... <laughs> Yes, we are. Oh, no, we're we're in a little too close. Shit. <laughs> Freaking left turn, Clyde. Daytona 500. Ah, see, now that probably explains why things are a little light right now. I bet you if I was doing racing, sim racing, though, people would be watching like a motherfucker right now. Oh, if you're at the middle of the water, I'm going to run you down. Oh, that does do damage to him. Nice. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Trying not to get too close, but oh, but. Okay, we avoided uh, we avoided contact with uh, the serpent back there, so that's good. As long as it doesn't somehow sneak through this channel and 
into our direct and immediate freaking biome. I don't care. <laughs> we're no, Tuttle, we are not running. No, sir. No, sir, we're not. Sure not. Not today, sunshine. Not gonna do it. It is very foggy out here. Oh, sweet Jesus. Lord has mercy. T Vale, how are you? Oh, sweet, S sweet Jesus. Oh, my neck. Just got home from work. You're working on President's Day? How come you don't have a day off? What the hell, sir? Uh, sometimes some trips just aren't good trips, right? Especially, I'm guessing, probably. Retail here's closed. Where I am, for, for, for most of retail is closed today for... Uh, it's like if you work in a convenience store. Yeah. If you work in a convenience store or fast food joint here today, uh, you're kind of euchred for uh, family day, but uh, if you work in retail otherwise, it's like. That one is, uh, no. <laughs> Shit is closed. Shit be closed. That even includes Walmart. All right, so we got the chitin needed. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, uh, oh, why is it all of a sudden getting foggy? Why? Sweet Jesus. Why is it getting so foggy? Chat, chat, we can't see. What is happening? Oh, is that a, hey, we got another one down here? Nice. Dad's building an army. By the way, chat. Dad is currently building an army, okay? Oh, Lord have mercy. Can, can we aim for the hole, buddy? Come on. I just aim for the hole. I really hope, Zool, you should be able to get in there now, easily. That was kind of the idea. We got to build it up and, you know, Zool can then, you know, have no problems getting in and out of boats. Okay, how you boys doing up here? Y'all good? Y'all good? You good? Hi. Well, they seem to be all right. Don't you stick your tongue out of me. 
<laughs> Don't you do that. Don't you do that. All right, so. I should now be able to build an abyssal harpoon. The fuck am I missing here? Fire arrows. Okay, flint head, needle, wood, stone axe, yeah, okay. Abyssal razor. Okay, so where? Abyssal Harpoon, there we go. Ooh, yeet. Here we go. <laughs> now. What level is this? I can't upgrade it? What? Fucking what? Tier 2 requires state. Well, I, I, that's not a problem. This is a station 4, but. Okay. Um. Huh. No, that doesn't just. Am I gonna need? I'm gonna need more chitin upgraded, aren't I? And that's why. No, it doesn't show up in here. So I'm guessing this is non upgradable. It's just literally this is it. This is all you've got. Well, look, we now officially have a way to harpoon the freaking. We now officially have a way to harpoon the sea serpent. That's right. No more fucking around. You don't even get overtime for today? Do you not get at least like time and a half though? It's a holiday. President's Day is a freaking national holiday for you guys in the US. Therefore, you should be getting what they refer to as like time and a half. Stat pay. Or is that not a thing in the States? What kind of horse shit is that? So what, if you work a holiday, you don't get extra, you don't get extra pay for working that holiday? That is some bullshit. <laughs> I'll stick to, we're gonna, depends on the company contract. Even here, here's the thing, even here, you don't have to be a union worker in order to get paid time and a half. It is mandatory. If you are, if you work in an industry where you're working on a holiday, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter on the company. It doesn't matter on the contract. It doesn't matter if it's union or non-union. You are paid time and a half, right? Well, yeah, with it, unfortunately, yeah, for Zool, if you're, if you work a position where you're salaried, it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter, right? But. Well, no, you get, but the thing is, though, is in, in here, here's something else for you guys to, 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 especially for those of you who are in the States. Here's the thing, t -Vale. If it is a holiday and you don't have to work, but you work, so you don't have to work the holiday. Do you get paid for your eight hours that you would normally work that day? Yes or no? This goes for actually anybody in the US. Would you get paid for that? Do you get what they refer to as holiday pay? 
for today? No? Wow. Some of you guys in the U.S. are getting fucked. Uh, well, uh, again, I'm basing it off. Of, so here, if it is a statutory holiday, if it is a holiday and you are given the, and you have the day off, you are paid for the holiday. It is referred to as holiday pay. So you are paid for the hours that you would have worked if today were a regular work day. Again, doesn't matter the company you work for. If as long as you work your scheduled shift before and your scheduled shift after the holiday, you get paid for the day. And that is, it doesn't matter across, again, it's one of those, with the exception of your salaried, it doesn't matter across the board. It is, it is mandated by the labor board. No conditions. I get paid for federal holidays. So, Viper, in your case, you're actually getting paid for today. You get paid for today. Hi, Viper. How are you? Doctor, uh, but Martin Luther King Jr. Day, President's Day, one or two others, I don't get... Man, you're getting screwed, t -Vale. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. You're getting kind of fucked. It's a holiday. You should get a little extra something, something if you're working a holiday. And I've always felt that across the board for anybody who's working a holiday. If you're working a holiday, y'all should be getting a little extra some some. You know what I mean? All right. So I now we now have the Abyssal Harpoon. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, I misspoke. My company picks six federal holidays that we get paid for. Only six. Really. And if it's a if it is what we refer to here in Canada as a statutory holiday, meaning a federal holiday, you get paid for it. Doesn't matter. Alright, that's it. Nope. Get over here. Get off my lawn, son of a bitch. I kind of want to go find a sea serpent now. Well, no, obviously it does. Like, and it, honestly, that's kind of a shame because I feel like you guys kind of end up getting the shit into the stick on that. Yo, Viper, how are you doing, man? It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Give me your feathers. Mm, all right, uh, let's do this. We're gonna okay, Get that out of the way. That out of the way. Doing better. Winters are hard for me on me. Is it just because let me guess, you're more of an outdoor person, but you prefer sunshine. A little bit of heat, a little bit of sun. Trust me, Viper, I I'm with you. I'm not I don't winter well. I prefer nicer weather because I like to Especially uh, like earlier in the day, I like to get outside and be able to do a bit of a walk and get some natural light in my eyes. And this time of year just makes that so freaking hard to do. Eh, you know. Nope, nope, that, that, nope, nope, that, that, that's bad. Okay, let's. Excuse me. Uh, you. Yeah. Ooh. So if you're wondering why Dad is picking up flint, it's because it's needed for arrows. And uh, the one thing I'm running low on right now, recently, is flint to make arrows. 
We're gonna do this. And pick up a bunch of bunch of goodies. So that making some arrows is a little easier. A little easier. Just a little bit. Excuse me, sir. No! Hands off. Get your own cookies. Don't touch my cookies. You son of a bitch. I know I'm like, I know, uh, so where, where I currently live, we really haven't had what one could classify as winter. Okay. It's, it's hasn't really been winter. It's been cold. The, the coldest it's been has been just over the course of the last week and a bit here. And it's been very, very unusual, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, Tasty white meat fish. Okay, well, I mean, wasn't expecting that, but okay. I apparently got fish. I got fish. Uh, I got the fish of the forest. <laughs> yep. For me, it's the mildest winter I've ever seen. Flat out. Full stop. Mildest. And I'm. This weekend, I turned 51. And I can honestly say I have never seen a winter this mild ever. Ever. Which is fucking crazy, right? Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. Which, if you think about it, that is crazy. Chat. I've been on the, I have existed on this planet for just over half a century as of this weekend. Legitimately full stop, half a century. So when I, so I'm one of those people that when I say that I have never in my entire existence seen a winter this mild. That, I mean, that's coming from 51 years of, like, 51 years of li living, right? Now, I don't remember my first three years. Most people don't. I have very vague memory of everything, you know, from three until five. But from five, five years, like, that's 45 years that I can honestly legitimately say, like, yeah, like, this shit is crazy. Absolutely effing crazy. Uh. Oh, wait, what? Quality two. Oh! Fish comes in different qualities. I didn't know that. Well, chat, we just learned something new. Fish comes in qualities. Who freaking knew? I just found that out. Shit. Hi. All right. Well, son of a bitch. Guess what, Bobby? Guess what? There we go. There we go. Now we got, now we getting somewhere. Now we getting somewhere. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I mean, okay, to be fair, not all of my living has been clean and safe. One point my, uh, my, uh, in my human development here, two packs of cigarettes a day and two pots of coffee a day, that's, that's a lot. That, that's not healthy. I ate a lot of shitty food. I drank a stupid amount of soda and I drank way more alcohol than a human being should. And believe it or not, it is only within the last couple of years that I've actually made a lot of really good choices for lifestyle change that are like appropriate and healthy.
So it is like it's quite possible that I might not have like any severe long term problems. But again, there's no guarantee of that because we all know that, uh, you know, life isn't always working in that fashion. All right, chat. Um, this is where I'm going to wrap it up. As much as I would love to keep going, this is actually where I am going to uh, sign out for the evening. Uh, mainly because uh, I can smell lasagna. Uh, and uh, hopefully somebody will be heading over this way very soon to uh, enjoy some very, mm, very tasty, delicious uh, homemade lasagna for dinner. Because as, as as my roommate so eloquently put it to her uh, last week, if she's sitting at home alone with just her and the dog, um, she's welcome to come over here. Yes, Viper. Um, Zool actually is uh, my significant other, and she is uh, very much a part of this community. She she has she has uh, endeared herself heavily here. I'm a set. No, you're not. Oh my god, you're not. <laughs> Don't. L listen. Oh hell no. Excuse me. Emotional damage. Have you been told yet? Would you like to be told, young lady? <laughs> For me, uh, oh, teeny. no. Mm -mm. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. <laughs> I have been told already. Have you? <laughs> Would you like to be told again? Um, but chat, thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna be back tomorrow. Now, you guys know Tuesday. I did Valheim today. Tuesdays and Thursdays for the last while have been predominantly me playing Valheim with the exception of last Thursday but that is also because we were doing a uh, I had a sponsorship with Ubisoft as part of their partner program so we were playing Skull and Bones which I will actually state um, is thoroughly enjoyable do recommend uh, and it so because that is actually part of the reason why I did Valheim today was because I didn't get a chance to play it on Thursday and because I wanted to show off some of the cool shit that I built over the weekend like and again it was it was nothing like super major it was just I uh, rebuilt the hearth and the uh, for for the cooking for the main for the main house um, in 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 the base and uh, building the bridge across the uh, one river because I was tired of freaking swimming that shit it's just so much faster to just run it anyways chat i love your faces thanks for hanging out with me thank you so much for dropping follows thank you for subs resubs gifted subs bits and tips as always chat you know only the tip and no deeper than the tip oh my we'll be back tomorrow for tuesday have yourselves a wonderful and safe monday night uh let's see if we can find somebody to raid sound good you guys want to go raiding that's right see so we'll know it's just the tip just the tip. See, she knows. She knows, Chad. She knows. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to send you guys over to DJ. DJ Knight is currently live. He is, uh, looks like he, ooh, there we go. Uh, so we're going to go raid DJ. Uh, he, he is a wonderful human being, super kind. Uh, he is also a space and sci-fi um, content creator here on Twitch. He is currently checking out uh, Omega, the uh, the Omega update for No Man's Sky. So I'm going to send you guys over there. Show him some love. I'll see you guys over there. Have yourselves a wonderful Monday night, and I'll see you back here for Tuesday stream. Cheers, chat. <laughs>